Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, right now I'm going to do a video on SAT math and I'm going to begin this series on SAT math because there are so many topics to talk about and what I like to do with SAT math is instead of just working uh, sample problems I like to work sample problems but also explain like families of solutions or related problems uh, to that problem. So uh, one of the most popular topics you'll see on the SAT is the topic of uh, something called consecutive integers and it appears a lot and consecutive integers just means um, that th there's numbers written and they're in, in an order and one comes exactly after the other so for example if I had one the next one would be two the next one would be three the next one would be four and the next one would be five so consecutive integers are, are an interesting um, series that you can have um, because uh, basically uh, what happens with this series is that uh, it, it has special properties. Uh, because it's a linear function and it's increasing at the same rate, uh, you always know that the average of consecutive integers, in other words, if I asked you to find uh, the average of 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, normally what would you do? Well, you would add all of the numbers up and divide by the number of elements, right? So if we added all of these up, what would we get? We would get 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1, and that would give us 15, divided by 5 would give us 3. But there's something much easier we can do than that, and that is this, that when we have consecutive integers, the average number is always the middle number. So right there. And this is true because it's a linear function, and in a linear function the average is right in the middle, so that's the average. So right away we can begin to uh, use that uh, to our advantage. So the average is the middle. This is for consecutive integers. Okay, so if we take our basic formula here, we say, uh, you know, just for the basic formula for an average, uh, we say that what? The average equals, in this case, the average is the middle number. But we also know that the average is just the sum of the numbers over the number of elements, n. And the number of elements is simply how many elements do we have. In this, in this case, um, the numbers go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and there's actually 5 elements. So in this case, n would equal 5. So uh, doing that the long way, that's what we would know. And <clears throat> if I wanted to find the sum of these integers, uh, the sum of these integers is simply going to be n times the average also. So we can work the other way too if we want to figure that out. So in the case of that, if we wanted to find the, the sum of these numbers, we could take n times the average. In this case, the sum n equals 5. And what was the average number? Well, the average number was just the middle number of 3. So 5 times 3 so the sum of those is 15. So that's another quick way to find the sum. Instead of just adding them all up, right, we can actually just take that middle number and multiply it by the number of, of elements. So let me, let me give you another example over here. That's not maybe not so easy to see uh, here. So let's do 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. So right away, if I asked you to find the average of those, normally you would just add the ball up and you would divide. But we know these are consecutive integers. So once again, I know that my average number is just the middle. Again, that's my average. Okay, so the average is 13. Now, just going back to what we talked about, if I wanted to know the sum of these numbers very quickly, I know that, for example, these are, these are the individual numbers here in the set. Uh, and we know that in this case, I w if I just wrote n up, up here, this is n equals 1, 2, 3, 4, and the fifth element of the set. And these are my numbers. So if I wanted to find out the sum of this, right, what did we say the sum was? The sum was going to just be n times the average. So very quickly, instead of having to add them all up, right, I can just say, okay, uh, well, there's five elements times the average. So five times 13 is what? Well, it's 50, right? Five times 10 is 50, plus five times three is 15, so it's just 65. 
So that was pretty quick, right? I mean, you, we, we didn't even really have to do much to find the sum of all of those. So uh, sometimes if you're on this SAT, they might ask you to find the sum of a long string of consecutive integers, right? And you know that, well, you can find the average and just multiply by the number of elements. And in this case, we said it was simply 65. And again, the quick way you can multiply this in your head is you do 5 times 10 is 50 plus 5 times 3, which is 15. 50 plus 15 is 65. So that's just an introduction there. And now I'm going to do an example problem. So I'm just going to do a simple problem now uh, dealing with consecutive integers. So I'm, I'm telling you the sum of 5 consecutive integers is 200 find the set of integers or find these integers. Well, the first thing that we know is what? That the middle number is what? The middle number is the average. Right? And the average was what? The average was just the sum over n. Okay, so I have the sum and I have the number of elements, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to find the middle number first. The middle number, the middle number in this case is going to be my sum, 200, over the number of elements, which is 5. So in this case, my middle number is 40 my consecutive integers. So I'm going to come down here. So I'm just going to start constructing my set of consecutive integers. There's my middle number. So I'm going to build on either side of it. There's 40, there's 41, there's 39. Remember this is the middle number, that's the average, right? Okay, I'm going to do a little bit more. I'm going to say 42 and I'm going to say 38. So again, I'll color this in a little bit of a different color. This is my average number here. That's the middle number. So there are my um, or my consecutive integers. That was pretty easy, right? Because we just we knew that the average is the middle number. And you just start building on either side. It's pretty pretty simple, right? So um, you know, for example, again, this was my these are my numbers in my set, and in the number of elements. I'm going to put them down here. So this is the first element, the second element, the third element, the fourth element, the fifth element, and the problem might have even asked you what's the first of these integers. So the first of the integers would be here. The last of the integers is here, and the middle is right here. So that's just a brief introduction on how to use consecutive integers for SAT math. Thanks for watching.